Hello there and uh, welcome to the video. So uh, we've been sort of trying to um and eye a little bit on whether we can change the rhubarb. At the moment here in France it's uh, the school holidays and uh, the weather has been a bit naff because uh, we've had um, Storm Barbara coming up from the southwest of France which meant a lot of rain and at the moment it's very windy so I was trying to make plans with my brother-in-law Patrick to come and help me with uh, putting the rhubarb on. He um, knows more about these things than I do, so what I'm going to try to do is film, is film what we do. Um, so we, we sort of, we're, we're going to do it tomorrow, and he ran me up saying, well it's lovely and sunny today, even if it's a bit windy, but uh, we thought, well, why not do it today? So he just gave me a, gave me a rang, sorry, gave me a rang, and uh, I'll be around in a minute. So I'm going to start uh, taking the front uh, dash off the van, and uh, then we'll get some proper access to, to what we need to do. So I've got my little tray that I usually have in the dashboard on the van to keep all these special important screws and bolts together. Um, and that's the kit I use for the, the bodywork bolts. So soon I'm going to be, if you look in the video you saw me actually putting these on, or rather you saw what it looked like after I put them on, which you've seen them now already, but yeah, we had to clamp the the two panels together to be able to make these holes to to bolt uh, the sides of the the front dash on on both sides. So now I've got to take all these bolts off, and there's two underneath the the bonnet, just underneath the badge there. So that's the next job. So you've got the the bracket on the rhubarb, um, and the bolt holding the wishbone on there. So you've got one side of the bracket on the rhubarb goes far side of the wishbone and the other bracket goes the other side, this side of the wishbone and the bolt goes through the lot holding the whole thing on. You've got the same thing on the front part of the wishbone as well. So if we look at the... In fact there's only one bracket, I thought it was two. There you go. So you've got one bracket each time, not two. So this bracket, I don't think it goes at the back of the, the wishbone or the front, but I would have thought the back. And basically, so I bracket that side, bracket that side. So you've got one side goes on the wishbone there, the other side goes on the wishbone here. I should have filmed this, this side because there's less soundproofing in the way. Oh, well, it's that bit there. So I'll just move the soundproofing out of the way. You see, you've got the same this side with the drive shaft. But we're mainly worried because we've got the suspension leg up here. And obviously, if you take the wishbone apart, there's a certain amount of tension there from the suspension leg, so we just need to see what we need to do because uh, we can jack it up and hopefully jacking it up will take the sort of stress out of the suspension leg and then we'll be able to unbolt it. So we'll have to see what happens anyway when he arrives. Bon, it's a bit more year. Very rusted. That's not good is it? That's wow. That's normal to have the brakes rested. And when you use it, uh, just two minutes, the rest will go away. Don't worry. so the good news, you won't get anything smashing us in the mouth. I wouldn't like it. No. Ah. Not ideal. C'est ça, c'est un, ce qu'on appelle un écrou nil stop. C'est un boulon qui est freiné avec une bague de nylon. Oui. Tu vois, j'avais peur que j'ai du mal à enlever cette vis, mais regarde. Côté cap. Et tu crois qu'il faut le remplacer ou pas Non. Non, c'est assez long. Non, parce qu'on on va lui bouffer allez, 2 mm. 
l'épaisseur de la pâte. D'accord. Allez, peut-être 5 mm. Et il n'y a, y a plus un centimètre de, de rab. Donc on est okay. tranquille. So we're going to keep the same bolt because uh, yeah. the bracket isn't too thick on the bar, so it should be able to fit. That's a tough one. Donc on a trouvé un petit écart. Uh, there's a little space. We're not sure whether the bolts are going to be long enough to fit it. Might be. So we found the metal was a little bit brittle. Um, there wasn't quite enough room to fit it onto the bolt. So we're going to get that repaired. Patrick is very kindly going to uh, re-weld that uh, back on. There, um, Patrick used a magnet to, to hold the piece in place. J'ai dit 24, et là, on a 23,5. So it's 24 between the brackets here and 23 and a half over there. Donc, c'est vrai qu'on soit à 24. C'est pas mal ça. Là je vais juste redresser un petit peu ça que j'ai tendu là tout à l'heure. Là au deux. Là au deux. Je vais juste voir, j'en ai quatre. On les coupera à la longueur qu'il faut. Est-ce que c'est le même pas Les câbles Super. Je vais en fabriquer 4 et même ça gêne pas, je vais les laisser euh, en entier comme ça. Mais ça n'arrête pas à rien là, ça n'arrête à rien là, c'est euh, juste euh, sur le châssis, c'est tout ça. Ouais, non, ça, ça, ah, gêne, oui. ça, ça gêne oui. pas du tout donc ouais. je, je laisse ces longueurs, hop, okay. je garde tout ça et là. Voilà, c'est comme ça. Bon, tu me dis quand je tourne le dos. Ouais. So I'm going to film Patrick, but I'll turn my back so I don't look at the welding. Oh, yeah. Okay.
Là, je vais juste refaire un petit point par derrière. Hein. Il me faut une rosse. Eh ben c'est bien ça. ça c'est fait. Je vais en mettre encore un petit coup. So a little bit more welding. Yeah. So Patrick explained to me that um, the space there is correct, 24. And uh, Just the fact of uh, just bending the, the metal back has made it uh, break. Um, yeah, it's just been it's been put under pressure to turn it into a, a bracket to, to put it into a right angle, and when you do the opposite, then it breaks, and that's what happened. So everything's repaired now. You're just going to give it a, a quick uh, coat of black, that paint, and I think we've, we're done. Je crois que ces pneus sont assez récents ou pas Oui, ils sont bien là. Je suis anglais donc je connais, je connais <rire> les indices. <rire> tu les vois arriver. <rire> I feel it coming. <rire> non mais c'est juste comme ça, c'est euh, je sens un changement dans l'air et euh, so rather hoping it's not going to rain at the moment. So I can feel it in the air. T'as besoin d'aide là euh, J'ai besoin d'un petit marteau s'il te plaît. Um. <rire> A piece of tubing. Where does this come from it's, it's Something something's fallen off the van. <rire> C'est tombé par la John. J'espère que ça ne vient à voir avec le fuel. Non. Je ne pense pas qu'il y a quelque chose qui a passé pour un moment. Qu'est-ce que tu en penses Super. C'est pas mal, hein on est bien là. On est bien là, on est bien bien bien. En fait, c'est quand même écarté. Hein je n'ai pas à côté de, de châssis. Hein c'est bien. Euh... Donc là, on va pouvoir mettre tranquillou les vis. Il n'est pas câble.
John. Oui. This is damn. C'est trempé. Complètement trempé. Oui, tu sais. Mais je pense, mais. Je l'ai nettoyé il y a pas mal de temps, mais. Euh, J'ai l'impression que ça, ça tienne euh, l'humidité. C'est pourquoi je lui fais, lui fais une couche dessus, une couche de quelque chose comme. Euh, C'est le truc à lieu qui, qui se colle. So Patrick has put some extra long bolts on there and we're sure that the uh, the bar won't fall off. This will never go. I'm not sure it's going to be very good for old ladies though when they're crossing over the road. So, job done. Uh, Patrick has gone home and uh, a big thank you to his hard work uh, putting it all together and re repairing the, uh, the bracket that it broke and he's given it a coat of, of black paint to protect the underneath so very very pleased very impressed so the next uh, job will be to repair the front panel um, it's been suggested we use some Tupperware, which would probably be a good idea because the plastic is a bit too thick to use um, something from a bleach bottle or a, you know, a similar thin plastic type of bottle. And uh, once we've done that, uh, it's suggested that we could weld a new arm on the front of the bursa, uh, bursa the speaking French again, uh, the subframe looking for the word in English, sometimes that happens, uh, to match the one that's the other side to attach the bottom of the, the panel because it's still obviously it's not well attached so yeah so yeah very pleased very impressed we had fun putting the panel back on again because we had to try to stretch it to look a bit over the top of the oil filter but uh, yeah I, I advise anybody who's got a an XM MAGA multi truck to, to buy one of these bars because they're just over 100 uh, euros and uh, yeah, very reasonable. So, thanks for watching. Uh, time for a cup of tea for me, and uh, I'll see you in another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.